Hi, I'm Andy Smedegard. I am with 365 Racing and CWSCC. We are at Brainerd International Raceway for the 2014 Map Proving Grounds. I'm going to talk with you today about how to prepare your car for a track day or even an autocross. Autocross doesn't require as much prep, uh, but a road course with you're out there for 20 minutes, your brakes get hot, it requires a little more attention. So we're going to be going through a little bit about this car and what we're doing to prepare the car for an HPDE event. We're going to start where the ground meets the car, tires. Most important thing. Tires mean a lot with grip, uh, how the car behaves, they can take the heat more. This specific car has the Dunlop Starspec Z2s. There are other brands out there. Uh, Hankook makes RS3s, BF Goodrich makes the Rivals. Uh, there's several other ones. They're always coming out with new, new tires every few years. Uh, you'll have to check forums, see, see how other guys review these tires and, and make your best decision. After tires, the next important thing would be brakes. Autocross, not as important to have a good high temp pad and high temp fluid. If you are doing any sort of lapping day, HPDE, time attack, anything on a road course, you need to have good race brake pads and fluid. Without them, you're gonna, you might boil fluid, which means you'll lose all pedal pressure. You'll go into a turn with absolutely no brakes. It's very scary. Some good race brake pads would be Carbotech makes some uh, high-end brake pads for racing. There's Hawks. There's probably several others. It varies depending on car make. Again, do your research. Look what other guys run. If you've got a really heavy car, it's even more important. The next thing, suspension components. There should be absolutely no play in wheel bearings, uh, tie rods, any ball joints. Uh, everything should be pretty, pretty solid. Give the, give the wheels a good shake. If you feel any clunking or anything, get it checked out. If, you're, if you don't work on cars, don't have experience, find someone that does, take it to a, a qualified shop, have them check it out. You do not need expensive coilovers. You do not need anything fancy. OEM stuff is probably better than most of that coilovers and stuff that's out there. Unless you're spending two, three grand or more on coilovers, you're probably getting something that's gonna make your car handle even worse. Uh, also recommend a good alignment. Uh, alignment can do wonders. Uh, if you have a poor alignment, your car will handle horribly. I don't care if you've got $5,000 suspension, if your alignment's off, it's gonna handle just way out of whack. So get a good alignment. All right, moving along to getting the inside of your car ready. First off, everything should be out of the car. There should be no air fresheners dangling off the uh, rear view mirror. There should be no CDs laying in the side compartments. Nothing in the back trunk, no loose bottles. Everything should be out. Floor mats, uh, very important to get the floor mat out. If that thing gets shoved up underneath your brakes, you might not have brakes or it might catch the gas pedal and hold the gas pedal down. So everything out of the car. All right, moving along to underneath the hood. Again, only a few things. You don't need anything fancy. You don't need more power. You need to have a good running car. Basic things, battery tie down, oil topped off. Depending on the car, there might be other things to look for. Turbo cars, there's boost leaks sometimes that you should really look for. But just a good basic running car. Until you really max your driving out, which doesn't happen for years, just leave it alone. Uh, it's money wasted. Spend the money on track time. All right, couple quick pointers under the hood. Battery needs to be tied down, fastened. You should not be able to shake it. Uh, positive. Uh, terminal covered. Uh, big track stuff, they really want that. Autocross, it depends on your local club, but just get it covered just to be on the safe side. Oil, top it off, get it to the full mark. Uh, make sure there's no leaks or fluids. Uh, you no, know, should be no coolant leaks or anything. If there is, definitely get those addressed. Uh, helmet. Most, all organizations now will require a Snell 2005 and newer, preferably an SA rated, which is made specifically for cars. So if you don't have one, get one. Go to a place that sells helmets. Go to, not Fleet Farm or any of your stores, go to a good qualified safety specialist. They'll know how to properly fit a helmet on, make sure it fits correctly. It's very important you have a correct fitting helmet. Autocross, you don't necessarily need long sleeve shirts or pants or anything. Uh, if you are doing a big track stuff, most all will require long sleeve shirts and pants, so make sure you come prepared. Shoes, make sure they're not sandals, closed toed shoes. I would also, if you do get into big track stuff, I would strongly recommend looking into a Hans. 
Uh, some Hans's, Hans device, you don't need a harness or anything. You'll have to do your own research, figure out what works best for you. Again, find the, uh, this, a safety, someone that knows safety gear, talk to them. Uh, safety is very key, especially on your big track stuff. Don't, don't cheap out. Uh, it's not worth it. All right, now besides the car, there's a few other things you would need to get ready. Yourself, get a good, right, good night rest. Don't, don't go out drinking the night before and come over with a hangover. It's not gonna work out. You're not gonna be at full alert. You need to have 100% focus when driving, especially if you're doing big track stuff. You do not wanna be doing triple digit speeds, going through a kink, and just totally out of focus. So make sure you get a good night's sleep. Stay hydrated. Uh, try to eat healthy maybe the, the day before and the day of. Uh, it's very important to be on top of your game. We should be checking the schedule the night before. Make sure everything's a go. Make sure you know when you're supposed to get there. Uh, have your tech sheet if, the, if required. Have that printed out, filled out. Have it ready. Be there early. Be prepared. Have everything ready. Read all the rules. Being prepared is everything. You should also probably bring a few other things. Water, for one, stay hydrated. Uh, if the track's not selling food, bring a lunch. Uh, chairs, sunscreen, uh, even bring rain gear, you never know. A few other things that would not hurt to bring is spares. Autocross, usually you shouldn't break a car, but a big track is definitely harder on a car. Bring an extra set of brakes, an extra set of uh, brake rotors, anything else, maybe a spare tire even would definitely be a good idea, or a spare set of tires. All right, so now you're at the track. A uh, few things you should keep an eye on. After you do your first session, uh, if it's an autocross run or an HPDE event, give the gar car a good check over. Uh, check tire pressures. Try to keep them in, most tire pressures usually like high 30s. Uh, some guys run maybe low 30s. Just ask around, see what kind of tire pressures your tires like. Uh, check brake stuff, make sure your brakes are, are still adequate, you got adequate pad life left. Now you're going to start stepping it up. You're going to start trying to go faster. Maybe try to find the, the limits a little bit. Uh, if you're autocrossing, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, you're not out there for very long. But when you start doing HPDE stuff, uh, you're going to start pushing things harder. Things are going to get hotter. Uh, you're going to have to keep a closer eye on stuff. Make sure you do cool down laps. Uh, when you come in uh, on a big track, if you, start, uh, if, if you start pushing it and the brakes get hot, when you come in, make sure you, if you park, Keep moving the car every, every about 30 seconds. Move the car a little bit so the brake pads don't uh, create hot spots on the rotors. That can damage rotors and you'll start getting that pulsing feeling or the warped brakes. So you gotta really let the brakes cool down on a cool down session. Do a full lap just at normal speeds without trying to use the brakes. Autocross guys, not a big deal because usually there's not too much to hit, maybe a few cones. You can really start to push the car maybe at 10 tenths of your driving skill. If you're doing an HPDE event, I would definitely not push 10 tenths ever. Uh, most tracks have runoff, some don't. Depends on the track you're at. We're at Brainerd International Raceway where there is quite a few walls. I don't like to push my car 10 tenths, especially for an HPDE event. Not gonna win anything. There's no point in trying to drive balls out. So dial it back a little bit, drive, Work your way up. It's not worth crashing the car over. Uh, usually most people drive their cars to the HPDE event. We would like usually to drive it home. So dial it back, keep yourself under control. No point in going too crazy fast or anything. So other than that, uh, enjoy. It's fun. Once you start learning how to drive, it just gets more fun and more fun. And then you want to do it more and you spend more money and that's life. <laughs> so. I'd like to thank you for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, you could drop an email in the link below. Otherwise, uh, just do your research. Uh, knowledge is power. Preparation is key. Enjoy.